Oh, got one. We got one. Let's go. Let's go. Come here, buddy. Come here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a mystery box fishing challenge. This specific one that we got, I never used this before. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what's going to be in here, but I'm going to show you guys what we got. Today, we got the mystery tackle box panfish and trout fishing kit. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what's going to be in here. So this is going to be a challenge. What could possibly come in a panfish and trout fishing kit? We're going for bluegills, possibly catch some bass. Hopefully it's some rooster tails. Hopefully it's something in here that can give us some confidence about catching a fish with one of these lures. I hope you guys are excited for this video. If so, please be sure you hit that like button for me. Get down in the comments. Let me know any other videos you guys would like to see. And we're gonna unbox this thing and see what's in here. Let's go. Man, I'm kinda nervous. I do not know what to expect. I don't know what could possibly be in here. And I'm gonna admit, I'm just a little bit scared. I'm scared. I feel like this is gonna be a challenge. Pan fishing trout. You know we could possibly hopefully it's something in here we can catch bluegills. Pretty sure. Pan fish, trout. We're not gonna catch no trout. Cause here in Mississippi, we don't have trout. I wish we did. I wish we had trout, but we don't. <sighs> All right. Moment of truth. Oh man, let's see what's in here. If you guys are wondering where I get these boxes from, I get a lot of these boxes from Walmart. You can order them online or any other places that sell them, but I specifically get mine from Walmart. So, you know, like normally like the regular tackle box, you come with some stickers, you get a QR code. Um, they come with a little pamphlet. You can just look at different fish. I'm pretty sure that you can catch on it. But here we go. What is this? Not for human consumptions. Oh, we got some little crappie lures. We got some, what are these? These are some nice treble hooks. They go in the dark and they got a little diamond on the bottom. What? Then we got some more. What is this? This is a micro finesse. The fat assassin, two inch scented. Wow, never seen that before. And we also got oh my goodness well back from commercial break and also we got two reaction strike ranger micro like a little micro like a little micro um crankbait and then we got another micro crankbait as well this is the black one and this is kind of like a bluish greenish color so <sighs> that's exactly why i was kind of nervous <sighs> okay this is gonna be pretty interesting because one of the main things they gave me was some jigs for the crappie, but I don't have no hooks to use with them. Um, so maybe we'll just have to first start off with the, the little mini crankbait. We're gonna get this boy tied on and we're gonna jump straight into it. Give him a nice roll. Oh, we just got a little bite just now. Okay. Got a little small bite by something. What it was. Don't know. We got one. We got a bass. Oh my goodness. Did you see the jump? Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him go. Come here, little guy. You're the first one of the day. Let's go. There's one thing about treble hooks that I don't like. Man, when these fish starts to go crazy with these treble hooks, you definitely gotta be careful with the treble hooks, guys. You do not want one of these guys to the finger. Trust me. There we go. 
nice bass of the day, man. That's the first. He's nice and golden. Are you over there tanning? Nice little fat guy, too. Got a nice backbone to him. It looks pretty good. He's super long. But we had him out the water long enough, guys. We're going to get him back in the water. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Super, super clear right here. There's a bass right there. But he made a run for it. Let's see if I can possibly get him. Try to put it in his path. Right there. Oh, he's interested. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, he was not interested. Come on now. Don't play hard to get. Don't try to play hard to get. Oh, got one. We got one. Let's go. Let's go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, let's go. Don't play hard to get for me now. There we go. Guys, my camera cut off like three times trying to get this guy off the hook. <laughs> the behind the scenes for this specific video, I'm fighting. I promise you, I'm fighting so hard. I'm going through so many obstacles. The GoPro keeps overheating. Um, it just keeps turning off. But, guys, we managed to get a second one. Nice little small bass. Man, these little small guys are eating very, very good. So, we're going to get him back in there. We had him out long enough. There you go, my guy. Second bass of the day. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Man, my GoPro really does keep overheating super bad. And it's not even, the sun is not even out. It's not even hot. It actually feels good. It's a good breeze. I promise you, man, I think that's something GoPro should, um, should look into. Because, man, these GoPros overheat so fast. Makes it super difficult when you're coming out here and you're just trying to get just trying to get some fishing in and you know and i'm talking and next thing you know it just cuts off out of nowhere man i promise you that's something that they should probably look into it just overheats a lot but that always been a thing with um gopros though so can't say it's something that just started happening because i got the gopro 6 and the go i think i got the gopro 7 and the gopro 8 they both do the same thing so Maybe I have to look into some different types of batteries or turn one of my settings down so that way it won't overheat as much. But kind of gets a little frustrating. Let's go back to our corner over here. When you're doing these mystery tackle box, you never know what's going to come inside of them. So when I do these, it's, it's such a challenging task because I didn't bring any other thing that I could possibly use. I only wanted to just only use what came in the box. So I didn't bring any extra hooks or any extra weights or any of my lures that I could possibly use. I only want to just use everything that came in the box. So that also be the challenging part. And some of the things we got, we can't even use them because I don't have any extra hooks or anything. So just gonna keep throwing this little crankbait around. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, this was the toughest one we've done yet. This is the toughest fishing kit challenge we have ever done. The only thing that we was really able to use was the small crankbait. We got about three bass off the crankbait, one spit, so we would have had four if he didn't spit it out. So, with that being said, it was super tough, guys. Like, it took me so many times the gopro just kept overheating every two three minutes this video was the toughest video i've ever done the toughest video i've ever done the gopro just kept overheating everything that came in our fishing kit we couldn't use the only thing we was able to use was the small crankbait so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you can't see the frustration on my face because we hide behind these shades but I just want to say appreciate all you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to hit that like button. Get down in the comments. Let me know what other type of videos you guys would like to see. We definitely got more videos coming. Catching cooks. A lot of different style of videos. 
So hope you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like button. Get in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go.